with Ridley Scott and cooperating you? Um, so he had seen a movie, I did a British movie called The Awakening, uh, which hardly anyone saw or cared about, but one person did, and that was Ridley Scott. And he came in raving about it one day, and I'd worked with his editor before, who's a guy called Pietro Scalia, who's an amazing editor. And Pietro's like, I know Daniel, I've been trying to get you to meet him for ages, apparently. Um, so I had a meeting with Ridley, and we got on, and somehow, I genuinely was like, what the? But somehow I got him doing his new movie. And he was amazing to work with, because you'd think Ridley Scott would be terrifying. You know, sort of one of the most famous directors ever. And his work has influenced me growing up. You know, it's kind of weird to go and work for someone who you grew up with, which I've never done before, and whose films and music is in your musical DNA. Um, but he was an amazing person to work with. He was very open to collaboration. He was not dictatorial. He respected your opinion. You know, he wouldn't always agree with it, but um, it was really refreshing to work with someone like that who would just be like, okay, tell me what you want to do. And so we would just discuss, I would throw lots of ideas, because the way I like to work on films is throw loads of ideas early on while they're still editing, because otherwise they have temp tracks where they just make you rip off other film music. So I hate that, because you end up a diluted version of a diluted version of something else. And so I think if you want to create original work, be an original artist, you've got to create original work. And so I get in there early and basically mess around and we'll come up with loads of ideas that I think are either great or stupid, but sometimes you come up with a stupid idea and the editor goes, oh, I've stuck it over this scene. And you're like, oh, that's really cool. And sometimes you're like, that's not cool. And then Ridley goes, yes, it is. <laughs> and uh, then you realize, yeah, maybe he's right. So you just 